Oh, come in, Kathy. Wasn't it a lovely dance tonight? Though I think you could have been more gracious, my guest. Isabella, may I speak to you for a moment? Well, you behaved disgracefully. How may I ask? It was bad enough asking Heathcliff here without consulting us or preparing us. You have forbidden me. But to make a spectacle of yourself, to throw yourself at him the way you did. Well, nobody else would pay attention to him. You refused to dance with him. I had to dance every dance as a result. Oh, you fool. You vain little fool. Really, Kathy. I'm going to open your eyes, Isabella. He's using you. Using you to be near me. To smile at me behind your back. To stare at me until our guests fear his murderous gypsy look. To try to rouse something in my heart that's dead. And I'll not let you help him any longer. So that's what you mean. It's you who are vain and foolish, Kathy. He's kissed in love with me. It's a lie. It's not a lie. He told me so. He's kissed me. He's... Yes, kissed me. Held me in his arms. Told me he loves me. Oh. I'm going to your brother. Yes, go to Edgar. Tell him he's asked me to marry him. And that I've said yes. You hear? Yes. You can't. He's not a man. He's something horrible and dark to live with. I know why you say these things. Because you love him. How dare you say that? Yes, you do love him. You're mad with pain and jealousy at the thought of my marrying him. Because, because you wanted to pine for you, dream of you, die for you, while you're safe as a lovely Mrs. Edgar Linton. You won't have him happy. You want to hurt him, destroy him. But I want to make him happy. And I will. You hear? I will. Sit down, Kathy. Well, I won't say I'm not surprised to see you. Heathcliff, is it true? Is what true? Did you ask Isabella to marry you? <laughs> oh, Heathcliff, you mustn't do this villainous thing. She's never harmed you. No, but you harmed then me. Then punish me. And that's what I intend to do. Well, I, I, I don't understand. Every moment I hold her in my arms, when I kiss her, when I promise her life and happiness, you'll be punished. You'd marry her to do that? Yes, to teach you the ways of pain and the hell that I'm in. Oh, Heathcliff, you can't. If there's anything human left in you, don't make me a partner to this crime. It's mad or stupid. If your heart were only stronger than your dull care for the world and its conventions, I'd live silent and content in your shadow, begging for an occasional word or thought as I used to do. But now, you had to destroy me with that weakness you call virtue. You had to keep me tormented with that cruelty you think so pious. How have I been cruel? You wish to be known as the finest lady in the county. You wanted your luxury and your light. At the same time, you wanted to keep me your despairing lover. Well, now that I am returned, had you given me the smile of love, I might have been content. But you needn't think of me now as your despairing and foolish lover. You can think of me as Isabella's husband. And be glad for my happiness. As I am for yours. Crumbling house on Wuthering Heights a hundred years ago, the candle burns low in the dreary guest room. There's no sound but the wind outside and the hushed voice of the old maidservant as she tells her story. The same that Isabella Linton came into this house as a bride. Yes, Heathcliff married her out of revenge. The same revenge that made him keep Hindley here. Haggering, broken fool, slowly drinking himself into the grave. Isabella learned the reason for her marriage to Heathcliff, but she was powerless to do anything. Then one day, Dr. Kenneth, an old friend, came to see her. He had come that morning from Linton Manor. Isabella, go back where you belong, to Edgar's house. Edgar is only Dr. Kenneth. I know, but he needs you now. Kathy's gravely ill. Really? Didn't you know? It's a matter of days now, perhaps hours. She... She can't be dying. Fever, inflammation of the lungs, this intense cold and... and something else. Something else? I'd call it the will to die. Kathy dies. I might begin to live. Isabella! Ah, begin to live. Ha! In this house of Heathcliff, nothing can live. No, Hindley. Nothing but hate. Goodbye. So you think you'll begin to live when Kathy dies? You won't? Oh, Hindley, what is it? This house. I can feel the hate within it like a crushing weight. Of course you can. 
And you. He hates you even more than he does me. Stop it! He loathes you. Every time you kiss him, his heart breaks with rage. But it's not Cappy. Isabella, why don't you do what I've been too weak to do? Kill him. Don't talk to me. Get away! While there's still time to save your immortal soul. <laughs> well, Hindley. <laughs> Remarkable. Heathcliff. Really, Hindley? The first coherent speech I've heard from you in weeks. Heathcliff, please don't. I tried to stop him. Thank you, my dear wife. Your loyalty is touching. Your curses will come home to feed on your own heart. Every agony you've given will return. <laughs> Laugh now, Heathcliff. There's no laughter in peril. <laughs> Heathcliff, why do you have him here? I can't breathe with him in this house. Oh, existence would be so much less without my boyhood friend under my roof. Oh, Heathcliff. You poison yourself with paying him back what he gave you. Send him away. And love will come to this house. Kiss me, Heathcliff. Tell me you love me. Tell me, darling. Why isn't there the smell of heather in your hair? Heathcliff, let me come near you. Please. You're not as black and horrible as they say. It, it's just you're full of pain. All twisted inside. I can make you happy, my darling. Let me, please. You'll never regret letting me try. I'll, I'll be your slave. I'll bring life to you. Life and sunshine and freshness. Put your arms around me. Look into my eyes. Your eyes are empty. Like Linton's. They aren't empty. If you'll only look deep, Heathcliff. Look at me. I'm pretty. I'm a woman. Let your heart see me. Just one. It's no use. Why did God give me life? What is it but hunger and pain? A naked runner in a storm of spears. Mrs. Isabella. Helen. What do you want here, Helen? I've come from Linton Manor to speak to Mrs. Isabella. Uh, you'll do so in front of me. Her brother's asking that she come home for a visit. Oh, so he's lost some of his pride, has he? Well, there's none gone in this house. Please, Mrs. Isabella. He needs you. He needs her? Now, what is this, Helen? Why does he need her? Let go of me. Kathy's ill. Yes. She's dying. Tell me the truth. Yes. Oh, sir. They're not going, Heathcliff. Yes, Master Heathcliff. Get on my horse at once. No, she belongs to Edgar. She belongs to me. If she's dying, let her die in his arms where she belongs. Let her die. Let her die. Now, who speaks of hate? Get out of my way. Lucifer beat on the night. The soul of Lucifer wept all alone. Shall I read some more, darling? No, Edgar. Will you open the window? Won't it be too cold? Please. Of course, darling. Oh, now I can smell the heather. If you will rest while I'm gone and sleep. You're so kind. So good. My darling. You made me the finest lady in the county. Oh, don't let me. Get me the heather so I can have it on my pillow. Please, my dear Kathy. I'll be back with the flower you want. She's not to be disturbed, sir. Master Edgar's gone for the doctor. Get out of my way. Kathy. Oh, oh, Kathy. Yes, Come here. Kathy, my life. How can I bear this? I 
dreamed you'd come before I died. And when you came in my dream, you scowled at me once more. Does it hurt so much to see me dying? Please, Captain. Don't hurt me. 